I feel like Ross from Friends. I'm just in my head like, pivot, pivot. Pivot! Welcome to my bedroom, everybody. I very rarely vlog in here because the bedroom is just not, the aesthetics aren't there yet. The bed has been stripped because we are doing something with it that I'm very, very excited about. This is the guest bedroom. It is bright and beautiful in here. It's actually a fantastic room. I could have taken this room to be like my primary bedroom, but I didn't feel like doing all the stairs. It just felt unnecessary. So this is now the guest bedroom. But like, look at this lighting. I could just die. All my furniture from downstairs is coming up here. When I first moved back to Toronto, I really didn't know what my plan was at all. I got a little one bedroom apartment and all that could fit was a queen sized bed, which of course is plenty good. It's, you know, it works perfectly. I'm a very small person. So it's been a great bed. Obviously as time went on, I decided to stay here more permanently and I bought a house and I knew once I had a more permanent spot or a plan, I was going to upgrade to a king sized bed. I have a king sized bed in my LA house and it is it's Lux. It is chef's kiss, 1010. It is everything and more. For such a small person to be able to just spread around anywhere, it's great. So I've been, I've been settled for a while and it was finally time to make the upgrade. I am so excited that this has finally arrived. I just ordered it on Amazon, just a nice cheap mattress. It didn't really matter to me because I got a nice pillow top that's sitting outside my front door right now. Gotta open that and get it inside. Do I have a bed frame for this king size mattress? No, I do not. All furniture is incredibly back ordered. So that just means I am gonna be sleeping on the floor again, just like fresh move in times, kind of fun and exciting. Like I'm not mad at it. I find a lot of excitement and just like joy from the beginning stages of something. You know, like sleeping on the floor before my room becomes this beautiful room that I envision. It gives me a sense of excitement and something to look forward to. So I'm kind of excited. Before we do this, we have to bring all of my furniture up to the guest bedroom because that's where all that's going. That room has been empty since I moved in. I originally thought maybe I would make it into like a little studio, but then I was like, my entire place can be like a studio. Like everything is aesthetic in here and I just love it so much that it just makes sense to make that room the guest bedroom. So we're gonna attempt to do this all on our own, my little 5'2 self. We're going to attempt it. Uh, we might have to call in some big guys. So, we're gonna start with the headboard because it's not attached and it's the lightest thing for me to carry. I know I can definitely do this one. It's just like kind of hard to grip. It's okay. All right. The mattress. It's kind of hard to shuffle things around in here. Okay. Now we do the box spring. I'm kind of thinking this is a bad idea for me to try and do myself. We're gonna give it a shot. Uh, is this even gonna come? Oh no, no, no. Um, I feel like Ross from Friends. I'm just in my head like, pivot, pivot, please. We're stuck. Oh, no, no. We're very stuck. Okay. We're gonna call in the reinforcements. There's no way I can do this. I just, no, I can do this. I can do this. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. I'm trying to do this without taking the box spring apart because that's just a real annoying, but I'm not entirely sure if we can do it. Okay, maybe if I come around here. Damn it. Why won't you go? Nope. 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 I'm sweating. I'm actually sweating. I am determined to do this. I just don't know how. You know what? In the meantime, we'll try the mattress. Slash, yeah, no. We're gonna get as much up there as possible on our own. And I'll take it up, take it up the frame. This is going very well. I just picked up the mattress. It's not gonna happen. I'm calling my dad. Is that my girl? Where are you gonna help? You gonna help? Nice haircut, boy. Welcome back, Mama. Thank you. What do you think of my heart? Oh, I like it. Do you like it? I do like it. What would you rate it 
out of ten. Brady, where are you going? <laughs> I would say it's an 8. You want to give it an 8? Well, I think I gave it a 7. I'm always nicer. <laughs> and now we have another fun project for today. Woo! Where's my little girl? <laughs> there she is! <laughs> Woo -hoo! All right. I'm not sure if this can actually get out of the room without being taken apart. I tried my best. Well, how did it get in the room? I think we built it in the room. So you tried to wiggle it around and shit, right? Kind of. I think... We might be able to make this work. Brady, what's going on? What are you thinking, Dad? Mr. Engineer? Mr. Engineer's thinking. It will work. It will work? It won't work. Yeah. Well, see, once you say it won't work, he's going to make it work. I know. I don't think it's going to work. It's going to have to go down the other way. Say hi. Say hi, Hi. hi. Say hi. Good thing that there's no activities for anyone to do, so you guys were a fail. Exactly. Okay. So you guys did this before, obviously. Yeah. We have done this once or twice. It's actually very easy. It's I, so I should have just easy. done this myself earlier, but I kind of gave up. So this thing uh, has a portion. Pull all the thingies out. Um, no, but we can use one of the bulbs from this room. Fantastic. Ah, let there be light. Okay. It's a fun activity, those little things. No. Sorry, I really could have done this on my own. But I appreciate your company and yeah, assistance. We have nothing else to do. Okay. It was so much fun. <laughs> nothing to do, so thank you, actually, for providing some activity. Truly my pleasure. Pretty good Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, here. You know what you're doing? Yeah, 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 yeah. You sure about that? No. It's gonna look like my bedroom is now upstairs. It's gonna be weird. Yeah, it is gonna be upstairs. Right. So hold now on. This goes now right on top. That goes right on top? Yeah. There we go. Well, that was much faster than me trying to do this. It's starting to look like a home. Is that where you want it? Yeah, I guess so. And now it's the mattress, the really fun part. Okay, so we're going to bring a mattress up? Yes. Aww. Okay, All right, okay, enough looking at the scene. All right. <laughs> hey, Brady, look. This is your room. Yeah, come on up. Nice. Yeah, this is gonna look like a finished <laughs> room. And now to bring the king mattress to my room. The fun begins. So, there she be. Oh, I'm very excited. Um, how do we do this? We're gonna just follow the line. What do you say to that? <laughs> now we just need to untop of it. Brady's so confused. Yeah, let me go to the side over here. You know, just for fun. Okay. Sweet. Go, say Brady. Yes. This is what's gonna take it up to the next level. So excited. Okay, the fam has left. I just put on another sweater because it's so freaking cold. This is starting to inflate. I'm gonna bring all the bedding up and do the bed upstairs and then get the new bedding for my king. Well, I guess I can't really put that on it yet. We'll bring it up anyways. gonna get for now because I need to get new pillows for this room but it's kind of funny because it just looks like my room downstairs it's actually a smaller room so that's another reason why I picked the downstairs room but she looks good I will be putting in my nightstands for my room up here but once my new ones come in for downstairs we'll have nightstand here nightstand here these are my old lamps from my old apartment and this is where it's gonna be for today slash actually we're gonna move this back this room is actually really cozy. I really like it. I have a lot that I'm gonna do to it. Like I want this to be a full legit guest bedroom. We're gonna furnish it more for sure, but my first priority is my bedroom. So we're gonna take care of that first and then we will eventually come back to this room.
first HelloFresh of 2022. I am so excited. I feel like I picked a good one to start things off here. This looks so creamy and rich. I am so excited and so proud to say that I have partnered with HelloFresh for another year for all of 2022. I have worked with them. I think this is my third year working with them. I'm genuinely honored. They're one of my favorite companies to work with, so I'm so excited. As I've mentioned before, one of my top goals for 2022 is to cook more and eat healthier meals, and HelloFresh just makes that so easy to do. It gets delivered right to your door. Each recipe comes in its own bag with pre-portioned ingredients. Like, it's just the most convenient thing ever. It makes cooking and sticking to your goals so easy and the pre-portioned ingredients that come in the bag that equals less prep and less waste which is fantastic and just like everything is so yummy i always get the veggie plan that's what works best for me but they also have a pescatarian plan a family plan like there's just so many options for whatever dietary needs you have they just have so many recipes like i always try new things with them which is always fun you can go to hellofresh.com and use the code taramichelle16 for 16 free meals. Plus they will also include three surprise gifts. Like what a freaking deal. If you are looking to be inspired in the kitchen, the HelloFresh is just the way to go. I'm telling you. Mm. This might be one of my all time favorites actually. What a way to kick off the year. I'm gonna eat this, thoroughly enjoy, and then I'm gonna go sleep on a mattress on the floor. It's gonna feel like I just moved in once again. I'm kind of excited about it. It's kind of fun, fun and fresh. Following day and we are going to set up my bed a little bit more and I got something else for my bedroom to also make it look cute, hopefully. I mean, we'll see. My sleep was fine. I just put down like my top sheet and slept on top of that. I didn't wanna like put the tight sheet on so it wasn't like fully puffed yet. The bottom of the bed, it's just kind of sunken. So I'm hopeful that as time goes on, it'll expand the way it's supposed to. It's yet to do that. But really I've only given it less than 24 hours at this point. So maybe it just needs more time. We'll be patient. Either way, I've slept fine, but we're gonna set it up a little bit better today with the pillow top that I got. We're gonna put that on and then we're gonna put on my new sheets and then I bought a tree for my bedroom. I think in here is my duvet insert. So I can actually, you know, put it in the, the king size duvet. Thank goodness for Amazon next day delivery. Fantastic. And this is the pillow top. My bed in LA feels like a hotel cloud, like it's everything. And so that is what I'm hoping my bed here will be as well because we all deserve to have heavenly sleeps. Okay, king size pillow top. This is gonna be the game changer, I'm hoping. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start with this guy. I'm gonna strip the bed. The mattress is not fully expanded for sure. Like these corners are lower and this one over here, definitely lower. The middle is the best, but I don't usually sleep, you know, smack dab in the middle of the bed. So I'm hopeful that over time it gets better. I'm hesitant to put this on here because I don't know if it'll make it worse. Ah, I don't think it'll make it worse. Honestly, for most of my life, I've always gotten these like thick foam mattress toppers and they've always been a game changer, like so comfy. I personally like a nice cloud like bed. I'm not a hard bed kind of gal. And these foam things are like a game changer. They're usually unreal. Okay, so I'm gathering that this also is gonna need some expanding time. Some parts are expanded. Some are not, and it's also not the entire width of the bed. So we are going to also leave this now to expand. Well, let's open up the tree. I also ordered another one for my living room, like a nice, nice one. But I figured I would also order one for my bedroom, but I didn't want to buy another nice, nice one because they're expensive. Oh, this looks like it's going to be fine. Wait. This looks nice. I'm impressed. This could have been a lot, a lot worse. Obviously you have to like kind of fluff the branches, but overall, this is nice. I'm gonna link it down below. Once the fake plants come into the home, I feel like everything starts to get a little better. Like life is back. I've never been one to take care of a real plant. I've tried, just never goes well. I'm sure I could learn, but quite honestly, this works for me. I love it. I think it's great. Obviously I have to get like a little pot, but the tree looks great. I'm actually, I'm very excited about this. This is good. Now this, this we're gonna have to just keep our fingers crossed and come back to it a little later. Please expand. Guys, look at the progress. It's like filled up the whole bed now, pretty much. I mean, there's like little gaps. It's not perfect, perfect, but it's pretty solid. It's definitely all expanded now. Yeah.
I think I'm gonna put the sheets on. favorite task is putting the duvet insert into the duvet cover. I hate this. And for now, this is my room. Mattress on the floor. We love to see it. And that's pretty much it for today, guys. The rooms have a long way to go. My bedroom, I need to order a lot of things. Same with the guest bedroom. So I plan on placing some orders over the next couple of weeks and things should arrive in the next few months. So this is pretty much the update for now. We are working on it. These rooms are going to be 1010 gorgeous. I'm so excited, but we have no choice but to be patient. There's a lot of back orders. This is all we can do for now, but get excited for a few months from now for a lot of, you know, furniture, decor, fun stuff around the house. But for now, this is where we're at. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you on Friday with the next one. Bye.